Hi everyone, welcome back for another fun week. And this week we're going to be doing things a little differently. Instead of me loading you guys with tons of dittos, activities, art projects, and experiments, instead this unit is going to be completely hands-on, which means that the unit that we're studying this week, I'm going to give you different activities that I need you to really use your brains for. And I need you to figure out how to do these activities ready for this all by yourselves I'm gonna give you some hints but this is all on you guys so can you handle it all right that's great so this week we are going to be learning about the field of engineering and engineers those are the people that work in that field and that do the different things that things around us are built created discovered fixed um, Different things are thought of every day. And those people that do that thinking, that creating, that fixing, that building, they're called engineers. Now, what exactly is an engineer? An engineer is someone that wants to know how things work and also why things work. They ask a lot of questions. They use their brains. They do a lot of thinking, a lot of figuring out, a lot of trial and error, which means that they try different things. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. They have to fix things, they have to change things, they constantly have to be thinking on their feet. And that's what we do a lot of times in the Hippo and Owl class, is we're always thinking and changing and making things different to see how we can make things better, how we can learn more. Well, that is what an engineer does. An engineer solves problems. They build, they create, they ask questions. So an engineer designs and builds things to address specific problems. For example, if you think about it, Cars. Cars were created for a reason. People needed to get from one place to the other. Long, long, long time ago, people used to walk everywhere or they would eventually ride horses. But it came to a point where there had to be a better way. So engineers came together, they figured different things out, and the car was invented. And eventually engineers worked it out in such a way that Cars are everywhere now, and there's different types of cars, different, some expensive cars, some cheaper cars, and there are just different ways. There's trains, there's planes, there's boats. There are so many different ways to get around, and that we can thank engineers for. Another example, bridges. People needed to get from one place to another that might be surrounded by water. Now, can you swim to that place? You could try, but if it's really far away, I don't know how well you'll do. Um, you could take a boat, but sometimes places, again, are really far away. So a boat just wasn't practical. It wasn't something that was just easy. So engineers discovered that they could build a passage from one place to the other over the water. And those are the bridges that we pass on. Um, there are a few in New York. There's a big one in San Francisco, the San Francisco Bridge. Um, or the Golden Gate Bridge, and there are bridges all over the place, smaller ones, there are ones that are draw bridges that go up, there are ones that are just, they stay in one spot. Again, engineers thought about that. So when an engineer is looking at something, they have to ask themselves three important questions, and this helps their thinking process. They have to think, one, what is the problem that needs to be solved? So they have to say, okay, what is the issue? What's the problem? What do I need to fix? What do I need to change? What do I need to create? The next question is, who has this problem that needs to be solved? Is there a reason it needs to be solved? Will it help people? Will it make somebody's life better? Will it make things easier for other people? They have to think of who is actually going to impact. Who is it actually going to help? And that, all, most of the time, will determine the way that they create their building, their structure, their program, their anything. And the last one is, why is this problem important to solve? Is it really something that needs to be solved? Like bridges, cars, different things like that. Even the microwave. A microwave was something that somebody just thought of because they were like, hey, I don't want to eat cold food. Like for example, pizza, even though I happen to like pizza out of the refrigerator, but some people like to eat warmed up pizza. So instead of having to put it in the oven, they could put it in a microwave, zap it real quick, and boom, warm pizza. Engineers are thankful. You're thankful to an engineer for that. So engineers are all around us. Um, 
They're constantly building, creating, discovering, fixing. Um, there are many different kinds of engineers. There are engineers that work with computers. There are engineers that work with machines. There are engineers that work on structures like buildings and bridges. There are engineers that work on um, different things for like outer space in like NASA and stuff like that. There are so many engineers. And now are we engineers? We're curious. We question things. We discover. We figure out how things work, but that doesn't necessarily make us engineers. But for this unit, we're going to pretend that we are. So like I said, for this unit, we are going to be these engineers, we are going to be these builders, these thinkers, these creators. And I'm going to give you a series of different problems or different tasks for you to complete. Now, normally I would tell you, okay, for this activity, you need A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and I would list different materials like paper and scissors and tape. Well, this time you guys can use whatever you want. I can give you a couple of hints as to what you should use. And there are a few things that I'll tell you, okay, well, we're building this for this. For example, we will be building a, um, a maze for a marble. So I'm going to tell you, okay, you need to use a marble or you need to use something like that. But your Creation can be anything you want it. This is the point where you use those brains. You use that creativity. You use that just everything that is inside of you to problem solve and figure out what the best solution for the problem is. You guys are going to be engineers and I know you're going to rock this, okay? So again, any questions at all, I'm always here to help. If you need any materials, if you come up with a really great idea and you think that maybe I have something that could possibly help you at the school or anywhere, you reach out and I can make it available for you. I will do my absolute best and may the odds be ever in your favor. I know you guys are going to do awesome at this and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. So please send me pictures, send me anything so that I can see because the best thing about this unit is almost nobody's project is going to look the same. They're all going to be a little different, which is fantastic. So again, I'm going to show you a series of videos. I'm going to present you guys with a problem or a task, and I'm going to show you an example of how I would do it. You do not have to do what I do. You guys can do anything you want. If you want to copy mine, it's perfectly fine. But I suggest, highly suggest, you try your best to do your own work and use your own creativity to be the best engineer you can be. All right, so we will be back for task number one, and we'll see how this goes. I can't wait. This is going to be really exciting, and you guys, I'm so excited to see what kind of engineers you're going to be. All right, we'll see you soon.